Music is a higher revelation than all wisdom and philosophy, Beethoven. Music is not just art. It's a biological language that communicates with our cells and modifies the brain, with evidence ranging from quantum physics to epigenetics. Modern science confirms this profound truth and reveals even deeper connections. And did you know sound can exert a physical force powerful enough to shatter matter? When a singer hits the exact resonant frequency of a crystal glass, sound waves transfer energy to the object, making it vibrate until it fractures. It seems like a superpower straight from the Marvel Universe. A human shout might make you cover your ears, but build that with technology and you get military-grade sound cannons. LRADs, long-range acoustic devices, work by emitting highly focused directional sound waves. This isn't from a Marvel movie. It's real tech used right now by special forces and police for crowd control. At high intensities, these devices can inflict permanent hearing damage, neurological trauma, and even temporary blindness. And legends spoke of weapons created with sound. The sound that shook the walls. Legends tell of how the ancient people brought down the gigantic stones of the walls of Jericho with the sound of ram's horns and a thunderous cry. And in an instant, the walls collapsed. And did you know? Laboratory studies show that sound can levitate objects, acoustic tractor beams, and alter the properties of materials. What's undeniable is that vibrations fundamentally shape our reality. From quantum wave functions to our heartbeats, synchronized to the beat of music. It is very interesting that in ancient legends, people talk about similar things, moving giant blocks with the power of sound to build their mega constructions. The harmony of musical chords, like the harmony of quantum states, reveals an order beyond what is visible. Both are languages of symmetry. Werner Heisenberg, Nobel Prize in Physics. Now when we explore the symmetry of sound, look at how frequencies literally shape matter. This is a metal plate attached to a tone generator, or what's often called a Kladni plate. As the sound frequency changes, these intricate geometric patterns emerge in the material. What's truly fascinating is how closely these acoustic shapes mirror sacred geometry, like the patterns seen in mandalas and spiritual art across religion's traditions. And watch my Tibetan bowl. Gentle tones create faint sacred patterns in its vibrations. Sustained play releases shimmering ripples, like leaping droplets. I don't just hear this resonance, I feel it vibrating through my body. Science shows why. Like stagnant water turning lifeless versus flowing water staying vital, our bodies, 70% water, thrive on movement. Sound frequencies interact with our fluid cells. That's why benevolent vibrations support wellness. If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency and vibration. Nikola Tesla. Many legends tell that in the beginning there was a sound, and only afterwards did the universe come into being. It is also true that atoms vibrate, each with its own unique rhythm, and where there is rhythm, there is always sound. Perhaps Tesla was right about this too, as he was about so many other things. He was almost always right, and his inventions and discoveries demonstrated it. It's a shame that many of his other studies and inventions were lost after his death. Music is to the soul what gymnastics is to the body. Plato. Music interacts with epigenetics, neurochemical modulation, and epigenetic activation, release of neurotransmitters. Consider how listening to or performing music stimulates the release of dopamine, linked to pleasure, serotonin, emotional stability, oxytocin, social bonding, and reduces cortisol, the stress hormone. These changes create a cellular environment that promotes epigenetic modifications, such as DNA methylation or histone acetylation, influencing gene expression in brain regions associated with emotion and reward. Example, brain imaging studies show that music activates the nucleus accumbens, the same region stimulated by morphine, modulating pain perception through epigenetic pathways. And the music has an effect too, stress reduction and genetic regulation. Stress response control helps us. 
Music lowers cortisol and beta endorphin levels, protecting against epigenetic alterations induced by chronic stress. This is crucial because stress promotes methylation of genes involved in emotional regulation, or shut the serotonin transporter gene. In clinical settings, listening to music during surgery reduces the need for painkillers and improves immune response, suggesting epigenetic action on inflammatory genes. Scientists have noticed that observed differences in musicians show epigenetic changes in the corpus callosum and auditory cortex, with protective effects against age-related cognitive decline. Perhaps it's no coincidence that most CERN scientists have started playing musical instruments. According to Chakra Philosophy, every energy center in the human body vibrates at a unique frequency, corresponding to specific physical, emotional and mental aspects. I spent almost a year in Buddhist monasteries in Nepal and India to deepen my meditation practice. It was there that I discovered how, even in those traditions, music and the sound of vibrations hold crucial importance, with ancient roots that stretch back to the very origins of their religions. And in my experience, repeating a mantra in meditation creates a unique vibration, each with its own frequency, until we ourselves resonate like a human Tibetan bell. You might be surprised to learn that each chakra corresponds to a specific musical note. According to this system, the frequencies align as follows. The root chakra is a C, moving up to D for the sacral, E for the solar plexus, F for the heart, G for the throat, A for the third eye, and finally, B for the crown chakra. Seven notes create the music of the world. Seven chakras create the music of the self. This harmony is no accident. Perhaps it's no coincidence that we love going to concerts and major festivals where music makes us vibrate down to our very bones. If you've had these experiences, you'll have noticed it too. Music makes us feel better. It makes us feel free and carefree. It can move us, touch our soul, and send us time traveling through our memories. Music is pure magic. Sound, its vibration, is truly an exercise for the soul and our body, as Plato once said. But remember this well, always listen to music in high quality if you want to enjoy its positive benefits. Opt for professional home audio systems, vinyl records, or digitally lossless formats like WAV or AIFF, using high-quality headphones, not earpods or similar products. For that, I'll be making another video soon, all about the best technical devices for listening to music. Don't forget to check out the research yourself, too. My last video was just a short summary on frequencies and the power of music designed to spark your curiosity. I didn't even get into ultrasound diagnostics, how it blasts kidney stones, or how new research is using sound to target cancer cells and more. I'm waiting for your comments below. Please watch, follow, and may the positive power of vibration be with you.